Hello. By now, all of you have been informed about your little cocks capping your data and then telling you if you use more than a terabyte, you'll be charged $10 for every 50 gig over that terabyte. Oh, well, if you game, I guess you better get ready to put either pony up two, three hundred extra dollars in order to use software that you paid an arm and leg for, or sit there and look at your software and say, boy, I wish I could afford to use you. Too bad I have Cox. They are monopolizing. They're taking advantage of everybody. Since Windows 8 came out, you cannot use most of your Windows services unless you're logged into your live account, which means the second you turn on your computer and log in, you're using data in the background. You send an email, you're using data. You go to Facebook, you're using data. You go to Contour, watch TV live, you're using data. You watch Netflix, you're using data. By the time you get halfway through your month, you'll burn through that cap data amount, which means now you have to stop doing anything with your hardware and your software and your Xbox and your streaming devices for 15 to 20 days or pony up $10 for every 50 gig. Now that's called monopolizing. We need to tell them no. We need to tell them that we are going to go to the Federal Trade Commission, go to the FCC, start telling Netflix and Hulu and EA and all these companies that rely on the consumer to purchase and use their services and goods that I'm sorry I can't afford to. And if you want to know why, go talk to Cox because they're making it to where it's unaffordable to utilize a service that you already paid for. You pay for internet, but you can't afford to use it. Sounds like health care, doesn't it? Sounds like something that socialist Democrats created, doesn't it? Maybe it's time we told the people in Georgia, I'm sorry, I'm not going to fund your six and seven figure salaries. You've gotten more than enough money off of me already. And in a lot of markets, Cox is the only people available. So those people are really screwed because now they have to use those services. Now, I've already went and uninstalled my Facebook games, and I sent an email or a message to the page that monitors and runs those games. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. I can't afford to do the same work because of what Cox has done. I've done the same thing with EA Sports. Okay, I can't afford to use Titanfall. It's an online game. I paid seventy dollars for it, but I can't play it anymore because I would have to pay an extra couple hundred dollars a month just to be able to play a game I already paid for it. using an internet service. I already paid for it. This is getting absolutely out of hand. We have to put a stop to them. They don't have the right to sell you a service and then tell you, "Oh, we're going to limit the service now." And by the way, if you want to use it, you're going to have to pay even more money. That's insane. That's monopolizing, and it's time that the federal government stepped in and hit them with a few regulations. I think Cox should be forced to not only lift this data cap, but be forced to freeze all of their pricing for five years to all current customers, at which time they will turn around and get to renegotiate with the federal government and the FCC and the Federal Trade Commissioner, and most importantly, with us the most important and most powerful group of people in the world, the consumer. Many businesses have gone broke saying, we deliver. Cox, you're not delivering. Difference between you and the mafia. A loan shark, you borrow 50 grand, you don't pay it back, he breaks your leg. You know what you're getting into. You, on the other hand, sure, here it is. Oh, by the way, here's the terms and we're going to change them, and you're going to pay a lot more than what we agreed upon. In many states, contract is constituted even by a discussion. You people need to tell all of your Netflix providers and everyone else, sorry, I can't afford to use you. Let's see what happens when 
their pocketbook start hurting, not because of their customers, but because of the internet provider, who is now the one who is putting other companies out of business, putting consumers at risk, and, oh, wait a minute, stressing them. How many people do all their banking online? It's safer. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. You probably secured everything. Well, can't afford to do that anymore, can you? Their contour online. Okay? If you're using it on your internet in your home, supposedly they're not burning your data. Problem. Install any open source data monitoring software. And you go online and watch a movie on their site, log into your account using their internet. It's burning your data. They lie to you, they steal from you. America, it's time to force them to be honest and give you what you've already paid for without the restrictions. Thank you.